Hello, you freaking dudes. What's going on? Hey, that's my freaking name. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm actually set up on time for once. I'm at a gig right now. Hello, everybody. I'm in Chino, and um, I'm playing a gig. I'm not usually late to start playing music, but I'm usually late enough to where I have to forego the table, as you probably know. So that's little merch table right there. Um, so I got my shit, and I'm ready to like start playing in a little bit. I'm just trying to waste some time talking about bullshit to you guys, because that's what I do. Let's face it. Okay, so anyway, you guys seen Breaking Bad? This is gonna be a fresh vlog, because, well actually, oh shit, today's Saturday, so there's another Breaking Bad that you're probably gonna see by the time this goes on YouTube. I'm gonna refer to the last Breaking Bad. Okay, so spoiler alert, if you're not caught up, if you're one of those, one of those nerds who likes to wait until the end of the entire season to catch up all at once, then please don't watch this video, because you'll be pissed. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, Breaking Bad was so awesome. You remember that scene at the end? Okay, remember, spoilers, you guys. It's your last chance. Remember that scene at the end where uh, I'm sweaty? Oh, there's a wasp. <gasps> oh, shit. There's a wasp. See that? See that bullshit right there? I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm out of here. Fuck that. I don't have raid right now. Okay. Uh, you remember that scene at the end where Walt was like in the freaking uh, desert and he got tricked by Jesse and um, what's his name? God damn it, I don't even remember his name. Because of the freaking wasp. You know what I'm saying? He got tricked, he's in the desert, he's about to get arrested. His life's falling apart, he gave up. He's like, oh, who cares? You know, don't come to the biker gang. And they came anyway. There's that big old shootout. I loved it. I was like worked up. I was like, yeah, this is Breaking Bad, man. My mom got so worked up. Because my mom gets worked up sometimes. That's how she is. She got so worked up that she was like, oh my god. And like looking around left and right at everybody. And um, when we were done, it was like 10 minutes later. Like I was just relaxing, having a little hummus dip, just chilling out. Like Breaking Bad was pretty cool. And meanwhile, she, uh, she went up to me and she was still worked up. And she was like, oh my god. Breaking Bad, I just want to grab somebody. I just want to grab somebody by their shoulders and I just want to shake them and go, can you believe that fucking shit? She, she yelled this to me too, by the way. That's how worked up she was. So, uh, I don't know. I loved it. I can't wait to see what happens. I have a little mini theory. Hold on, am I still recording? Only two minutes, good for me. Uh, you know back in the day in real life there was like some dude who like went up to a tower in Texas or something and he snipered a bunch of people, he was like crazy, he killed people. Um, I don't know if you remember that, there was like a movie, it's like a really old movie about it. Basically he wrote like some sort of letter I think, or suicide letter or something before he did all that. And he told everybody, sorry about the wind, I'm sorry you guys. And he told everybody that they should like operate on his brain or something and check for a possible, you know, something that was wrong with him because he's he's been feeling really aggressive or violent or whatever and he thinks something's wrong with him they actually opened up his brain and they did find like a tumor or something that was pushing on his I don't know medulla, medulla oblongata there's something wrong with your medulla oblongata uh, and it actually was making him aggressive so the guy actually wasn't crazy he was just he had the tumor that was pushing on his brain making him crazy and I know that uh, you know lung cancer is not directly related to brain cancer but I thought you know cancer in general is like kind of related so what if at the end, Walt has like a brain tumor and he is uh, not actually, he, he's not bad, but the brain tumor is making him go crazy and violent, you know what I'm saying? What if? I don't know. So that's just a theory. I think two girls were trying to get on the vlog right now. I should have probably let them on, but I wasn't sure if they're going to vlog bomb me. Maybe vlog bombing would have been fun. You guys would enjoy it, right? If I like got vlog bombed and I was like, damn it, shut up. Get out. Oh, shit. My bag just flew away. Look at this bullshit. Obviously my bag fastening skills are not up to speed. So I'm gonna go and oh, we'll end this vlog with the bag over my head. <laughs> Last time you ever see me. Just kidding. So uh, hey, um, I'm gonna stop the vlog now and I'm gonna start playing music in a few minutes. Security's here to help me turn down the radio and I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I guess this is the second uh, clip and the last clip of the evening. Um, I had a good set. I didn't tear up my voice. Thank you guys for watching the vlog so far. Um, I just wanted to show you that uh, there's like, I don't know if you could tell, there's like a few people. There's maybe like three, four, five tables left. 
That's amazing for this place. This place is like a freaking ghost town by the time I'm done, usually. But it's summer, I guess, so that means people stick around longer. Ah! There's a cockroach up there. Okay, so I gotta tell you what happened. I gotta tell you what happened. If you were watching my tweets, you already know. I'm not gonna show you the carnage. There it is. I'm not gonna show it to you. But basically, um, I was playing an Oasis song, and it was that, it was, what was it, like, Live Forever? It's a song that causes people to usually be like, bursting into tears or like kissing each other or something. Uh, and while I started to play it, a freaking cockroach started crawling toward, he didn't actually get on me, even though I said on my tweets that he got on me. A cockroach freaking went on my leg almost. And I was like playing music like, you freaking cockroach. I didn't stop, I was trying to be a professional. I like lifted up my leg and I was like kicking him. He was actually up on the seat, like where I was sitting, because I sit right there. He was like up on the seat crawling that way towards my leg. And I was like, get out of here, you stupid cockroach. He was just looking at me like, I don't care. He ain't gonna kick me. He ain't gonna catch me. And then he kept going closer. So in the middle of the song, I, I'm facing the wrong way. In the middle of the song, I literally just stopped playing and got up and started to run away from the cockroach and then became quickly angry that I looked so stupid because there was like a lot of people here when that happened. Like almost, well definitely more than half the tables were full. And you know, each table had like a full family or something, so it was pretty good. I don't know, there, there was just like menus outside there in front of that restaurant, so they might have anticipated somehow that it was gonna be crowded. There's like extra tables. I don't know, has it been crowded here? I haven't even been here for like two months. So, but yeah, it was crowded. And I freaking stopped playing in the middle of a nice song. And everybody was like, just, well, they were just sitting there because I just started. But a couple people were looking at me like, what are you doing, sir? And I was like, I started to get angry. I was like looking for the cockroach. And he was like, freaking dig it. He like went under, like I chased him away. I was like slapping and like kicking and stuff. He like went under the freaking thing and hid basically right next to where I was sitting. So he was essentially telling me, oh, it's okay. Don't worry, as soon as you uh, start playing again, I'm gonna bite you in the crotch, stupid human. So I seriously spent like 10 minutes uh, trying to like track him down and, and get him and uh, <laughs> I took one of my demo CDs and I was like throwing the demo CD at him and trying to hit him with the demo CD. And um, eventually I kind of got him a little bit with the demo CD. I think I might have injured him or something. And so then he came like running out at me and I was like, ah! It was like a scene, dude. Everybody was watching me. There was two, there was two, I don't know if you can call them fans anymore. They might have been fans had I not done this, but <laughs> they were like sitting right there. Cause you know, that's like the loudest spot in the whole freaking place. Look at my speaker. Um, or actually that's a lot of spot. A couple people sat there. It was kind of cool, but they were sitting there just to listen They didn't have food or anything And after like two songs I get up and do this debacle in front of them and um, <laughs> At first I thought they understood because I saw on the microphone I'm like sorry for quitting everybody a bug jumped on me I, I guess I don't know how to talk correctly. Nobody ever understands what I'm saying So I was like stepping on that thing and as soon as it came out at me and I killed it all of a sudden They were like what because before they were like just looking at me like redoing and they were like, what? What was that? And I was like, it's freaking cockroach, man. It tried to jump on me. That's why I freaked out on everyone and stopped playing. And they were like, whoa, okay. But for some reason, I could tell that I had totally lost their respect. So tonight's fiasco with the cockroach cost me a demo CD and the respect of two potential fans. So, and also any girls who are watching right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, so then I was kind of feeling down. And then I forgot what song I played a little bit later. It wasn't one of mine, though. It was something. And somebody started making out, so that made me feel better. Because, you know, that means it's working, right? A couple people were dancing, like trying to slow dance each other to the, like, uh, Radiohead, High and Dry. And then, um, you know, a family came when I was playing John Denver, Sunshine on my shoulder, right there, and was, like, taking pictures. And the mom and dad were, like, smooching. The kids were like, you're freaking gross. And then, uh, shit, I'm out of batteries almost. God, it's gonna cut. Uh, uh, so, so then there was another fan. If he had stayed longer, I would have totally given him a free CD. But basically, he just, he was like waiting for me to finish playing. And as soon as I was done with one of my songs, he ran over and he was like, you know, I just want to say you're great. And then, and then he made me feel really good and totally lifted me up out of the cockroach slump that I was in. Anyway, thanks to that guy. If he ever sees this, I'm almost out of batteries, you dudes. I gotta cut the vlog. So thank you for watching. I'll update you next time. And I hope you have a good rest of your night and have some fun diarrhea. Goodbye.